guys, and welcome to Studio 45 Online. We are continuing the big idea of confidence, which is learning to see yourself the way that God sees you. Yeah, we've been talking about this big idea from June and through July. I love this big idea. It's, it's so big, good big because idea. the truth is when we learn to see ourselves the way God sees us, we see that he's with us, that he loves us, that he created us, yes. and he cares about us. And with that, there's no challenge in this life that we can't Nothing face can without him. And so uh, today our story actually is really cool. It's about armor, a very special kind of armor yeah. even, uh, but that it will help us stand strong when things get hard, but uh, what we, I thought we could do, we could play a little bit of a game with it, okay? Okay, what kind of game? What kind of okay, game? so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a picture of armor. Now, this isn't necessarily the armor that we're talking about today. It's just a representation. Okay. Which, hey, you know, want to know a little fun fact? You sure. know where the salute came from? Yeah. It came from men wearing armor. Whenever they'd ride up on a fellow rider, they'd lift up their mask so they could see it. <laughs> I guess salute. that's the only way that you could see. Hello. Oh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have a picture of armor come up we're gonna highlight okay. one of the things that's in the armor there's a lot of different pieces there's a lot of pieces. I thought it was just like put it on in your armor yeah. no there's like a million little pieces to it yep. and so uh, your job is to guess what the name of that armor part is called okay all Here right first Are you guys ready some parts I did not know. I yeah, mean, I, I learned something new there. Yeah. That was pretty epic. And you can always <laughs> learn something new. Yeah, well, uh, we're gonna find out about the armor of God in our story today. Uh, of course, we've got our good friends. They're hilarious. Oh, yes. And uh, you know who I'm talking about? The So-and-So Show. Let's check it out. The Bible is more than a single book. It's a collection of 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry written by dozens of different authors over thousands of years that all come together to tell one big story. It's a bigger story than you can even imagine. It's a big story about a really big God and what He did to rescue us. It shows us who we are and what we were created to do. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. completed your pyramid. Yes! Sir. You've been trying to do that for like years. <laughs> Great job, bud. Thanks. Uh, so I'm going to go. Uh, I got to give my uh, goldfish uh, bath. Sure. See ya. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. Oh yes! <laughs> you didn't stand a chance, man! You didn't! <laughs> oh, here I am, just minding my own business. No one should suspect anything, and then... Boom! Oh, didn't even see it coming, did you? <laughs> oh, hey, hey, what's that behind you? What's that behind you? Wow, too easy. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. What are you doing, John? Oh, well, uh, I'm training for a competition called the Battle of the Headless Hostman. That sounds terrifying. No, it's intense. Yeah. Hosts from around the world come together to battle to become the last host standing. Every host wears a paper bag on their head and Everyone else tries to rip the bag off. If your bag gets ripped off, you're out. Oh, I'm sorry I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> I signed you up. Awesome. Well, guess I should train. Uh-huh. Uh, 
Yoink! There, I'm ready. No, that's not how you do it. What are you doing? What? No, I just. No, 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 no. That's not how you do it. You have to. You have to wear these. What are these? Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Makes it harder, right? <laughs> yeah, and so. also, if we're really gonna do this, we should suit up. Suit up? Mm-hmm. That's right, my friend. You should never go into battle without armor. Well, let's do it! Yeah! <laughs> Ready? Ready. All right, on your mark. Get set. Be head. No! 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 Did we get it at the same time? Yeah, we sure did. Oh man, okay, right, let's, yeah, we gotta do it again. All right, ready? You gonna call it? Yeah. Okay. Go! Oh, no, 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 this is easy. <laughs> oh, oh, the tape was ripping off my arm hair. <laughs> All right, that's two. Okay. You win. Well, that's well played. You will be a worthy adversary. Thank you. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hey Kellen, what do you got for us today? A pretty amazing story. But more importantly, what are you wearing? Very comfortable armor. What a coincidence. I'm actually talking about armor today. What? That's a, that is a coincidence. Uh, take it away. Our Bible story comes from the book of Ephesians. It's where the apostle Paul wrote about something that people often call the armor of God. Did somebody say Bible story? I hit it. Did. Glad you came. Glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow by blow of the Bible story on the Mel Solomon story recap. Kellen Kelster. Kel Cheese, Mr. Kellen. Just Kellen is fine. You got it, Just Kellen. Great to have you on the show. You know, it's not your show. Uh, tomato, tomato. That doesn't make any sense. Eh, uh, potato, potato. Um... Hey, you know, speaking of starches, my brother-in-law Greg is over there on the ivory. Say hello, Greg. I eat mashed potatoes for breakfast when I'm nervous. Oh, no, Greg. All right, Melv. <laughs> Say no more, Kellen. You just tell the story, and I'll give you some very subtle musical interpretation. Subtle? Yeah, like my suit. Right. Okay, so Paul wrote, Let the Lord make you strong. Depend on his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor. Then you can remain strong against the devil's evil plans. Oh boy, did you say devil? <laughs> Hit it, Greg. 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 Potato cake. Nap times later, Greg. Oh. Play that devilish tune. Do you know the devil? He's not a friend of mine. He cheats at Pacheesy, the opposite of kind. You gotta be ready. For when he pulls your leg, not a good thing about him, except he makes a really good egg and food cake. Back to you, Kellen. Thank you. Paul reminds us there are things in this world that we can't see that can make life really tough. Things like temptations or thoughts that tell us we're not good enough. We can't fight those things by ourselves. We need God's help. And Paul wrote, we can stand up to anything when we put on the armor of God. The armor of God? Yes. Huh. Must be heavy, right, Greg? Greg. Greg! Ah, oh, no, Greg's asleep again. I can't lift my head. 
I don't think Paul meant that kind of armor. God's armor is made of invisible things that God has given us. Paul wrote, put the belt of truth around your waist. Put the armor of godliness on your chest. Wear on your feet what will prepare you to tell the good news of peace. Good news of peace? Oh, I got just the one for you, Kellen. Hit it, Greg. That's it. When I want to tell some good, good news, I gotta wear my newspaper shoes. Puppies and rainbows and don't mean nice sections. Too bad they only last 23 seconds and even less in the rain. Um... I think the good news Paul was writing about was the good news about Jesus, the life Jesus lived, the things he taught, and what he did for us when he died and rose again. It can bring us peace with God and with each other, and we can take that message of peace wherever we go. That is good news. I know, but Paul wasn't done yet. There's even more armor to put on. He wrote, pick up the shield of faith. With it, we can put out all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Put on the helmet of salvation. Boy, howdy. Hit it, Greg. Greg? Huh? Why that song, Greg? Of all the songs, I told you never to play that song, Greg. I'm not carrying a shield, Greg. Your flaming arrow pierced my heart and inflamed it. The worst of all heartburns. No tums will cure that. All that's left is a charred ember of suffering. What you got next, Kellen? That was a little mean. I know, right? See, Greg, even Kellen agrees with me. No, I mean how you yelled at Greg just now. Ah, uh, that's just how we communicate. That's not healthy. Our therapist said the same thing. Funny. <laughs> Finally, Paul wrote, and take up the sword of the Holy Spirit, and the sword is God's word. There are things out there that we cannot see. Words people say, thoughts in our minds, feelings in our heart, stuff that can hurt us. But God has given us things like truth, faith, peace, and his word that can help protect us so we are able to stand up to anything. You know what, Kellen? I hear you. Hey, Greg. Greg. I'm sorry I yelled at you. You know you're my favorite brother-in-law, right? Come on, Greg. You think you got one more song in you? Come on. Okay. Greg, all right. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh, perfect, Greg, perfect. You got the belt of truth, the helmet of salvation. Hold your faith shield without reservation. Live the way God wants you to. It's like wearing a chest plate. No arrow gets through. Carry the good news with your shoes of peace. Use God's word for the least of these. God gives us his armor. This much is true. So stand up tall the whole day through. Not bad. The end. Thanks, Mel and Greg. Great story, Kellen. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I think we might be wearing the wrong kind of armor. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, it might work for whatever it is you were doing, but if we want to live with confidence and stand up for what's right, even when it's hard, we need to remind ourselves of all the tools God has given us. We need to put on his armor. It's good stuff. Thanks, Kellen. No doubt. I'll see you next time. So how do you put on God's armor? I mean, I'm not sure we have enough duct tape. I don't know. Maybe we're already wearing it and we just can't see it. Oh. <laughs> or maybe it's not literal armor. It just represents the tools God has given us to stand strong. Would I be able to feel it? Mm -hmm.
Reveal the question. When is it hard to stand strong? Mm. Uh, maybe when you feel like you're not good enough. Yeah, or, or maybe when you're worried what your friends might think. Mm -hmm. Or when everyone is saying that the kind of music you listen to is bad. But you know that it doesn't matter what everyone thinks and that your music is really awesome. I'm telling you, prog rock square dancing is not a thing. Yes, it is. Talk about it together. When is it hard to stand strong? Yeah, and thankfully we know that God has given us all kinds of things to help us stand strong for him, for ourselves, and for others. That's all we got today. We'll see you next time on, on the, the So and So Show. Who let that squirrel in there? <laughs> they are always so funny. Yeah. And they had some really good points in there. Just like our question of the day. That's right. Which is, when is it hard to stand strong? And when is it hard for you, Cody? Uh, especially when I sit cross-legged and I stand up and my leg is really numb. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying, <laughs> for me, it's hard to stand strong when I'm driving by a frozen custard place. They've got oh, that yeah. sign on and it looks so delicious. Or the candy aisle in any grocery store. Yeah, yeah, but hey, you know what? Uh, there are some things that are obviously more serious to think about when oh, it yeah. comes to, hey, how can you stand strong in that? And with that, uh, you know, Ephesians chapter six is so powerful as it yes. tells us how we can put on God's armor mm -hmm. and what we can do to resist the attacks from our enemy. And so uh, we just actually wanna take a second with you guys right now just to pray for you uh, that every day you would choose to put on God's armor and that you would be able to uh, stand strong the way that God has called us to do that. Let me pray for you. God, we love you so much. And thank you for giving us a way um, to stand strong and to stand in your mighty power, not in ours. Um, I just pray for each of these kids watching, God, that you would help them to have the belt of truth, that they would uh, walk in truth, that uh, they would have the, the shoes that go in peace and the, the armor on their chest of, of godliness and the helmet of salvation and also the, the shield of faith and, and the sword that is your word, God. And we know that when they do that you know, and they do everything they can, they will be able to stand strong. Uh, we just thank you so much for that. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.